Jerry, you're a wet one, aren't you? Ooh, la, la. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, what in the fuck? Get up and get the fuck out of here. Get out. Jesus. Oh, my Egyptian bed sheets. Those stains will never come out. This whole portal's fucking ruined. You, 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 you owe me, owe me, uh, two, 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 two. For, 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 for fuck's sake, spit it out, Mary. You, you owe, owe me two hundred dollars. I owe you, you listen here, bloody Mary. You owe, owe, owe me, all right? You owe me new bedding. Get the fuck out of my house. Hey, Dennis, that time of the month. Yeah, no shit, bud. She bled all over me. Uh, that's not what I meant. I meant I've got your welfare check. Well, give me that! Fuck's sakes! So you need a band-aid, or...? Odd times in the Maritimes Living in St. John What? I think I know how to solve all of your problems. You sound just like Dennis. You guys always have some fucking kind of harebrained scheme up your sleeves, don't you? Well, yeah, harebrains are the best kind of schemes. You know, scheme-wise. Well, what is your scheme? My dad knows this guy who's like a loan shark dealie. Fix you right up. Yeah, he'll have to fix me up after he breaks my fucking legs when I can't pay him back. Oh, that's the beauty of this dude. You don't have to pay him back. A loan shark that doesn't make you pay him back the loan. That's not a loan shark, Liam. What the fuck are you talking about? Look, we're almost at my dad's. We can ask him. He'll give us the details. Let's just go. Oh, my fuck. There he is. Look. Dad. Dadder. Oh, look. It's useless and hopeless. Did you sell all those mug shots you were supposed to sell? I'm working on it. What are you doing? What's it look like? I'm sitting here playing guitar. I wrote a song about you anyway. You wrote a song about me? I think you're gonna like it. About me? I did, yeah. 
What's it called? It's called I should have pulled the fuck out. Hey, Lenny. He said something about you knowing this guy that we could borrow some money from and he won't make you pay him back, apparently. Yeah, man. Tuna Man. I met him in prison years ago. The Tuna Man? Yeah, the Tuna Man. Tell him how it works. Well, you scratch his back, he scratches yours, and... Well, you know what? His number's 450-Tuna Man. Why don't you call him yourself? See? Easy. Yeah, we'll see fucking how easy the Tuna Man is. Tuna Man. Hello, uh, Tuna Man? Yeah, this is he. Didn't I just say I was the Tuna Man for fuck's sakes? Speak. Sorry, um, I heard you could lend me some money. How much you need? My pockets are deep. Like the ocean. I figured to dig myself out of the hole I'm in, about 4,000 if that's possible. 4,000 is easy. Meet me at the wharf at 5 p.m. And bring a can of tuna. We got one, Gil. We got one. <laughs> Where the fuck is this guy? Well, I don't fucking know. Hey, Banks! You're cramping my style! What the fuck are you doing here? What am I doing here? It's welfare day, I'm on a hooker stakeout, and you two dickheads are messing it up! Oh, hunting for bush in the bushes. Classic. Listen, you didn't see anybody weird around here, did you? You know, besides you? No. <clears throat> fuck. What's that smell? coming from over there. Perhaps the tuna man coming. Tuna man? You're late. I said 5 o'clock. Didn't I say 5 o'clock, Tony? For sure you said 5 p.m., boss. It's like 5.02. Don't underestimate what I can do to all of you if you don't follow my instructions to the T. <laughs> tuna man? What the fuck is a tuna man? Shut the fuck up, you Neanderthal fuck. I think you need a warning. Tony? Jesus Christ! Listen. You midget lumberjack looking motherfucker. Why don't you buy some growth hormones and get your life together? Oh, that's it. You got the stuff? Yeah. One can of tuna. Coming right up. Tony? Come on, cocksucker. Comply with me. Ah, uh, smells familiar. Ah, oh, that's horrible. It smells like an old quiff. Shut the fuck up. Do something with him. Are you gonna behave yourself? Yeah, yeah I guess so, you fucking weirdo. Good. Let's make the transaction. The envelope? Inside that envelope is your money. And a task. There's an address in there where my wife will be all evening. I need you to make love to her. Sweetly. That's insane. I ain't doing that. Take your fucking money back. Don't insult my intelligence. You'll all suffer the consequences and sleep with the fishes. Now, bet you're not having any second thoughts. We're gonna take the string bean looking hipster as collateral. Hipster? I'll have you know I put zero thought into my look. And by the way, I'm the only one behaving here. You'll get your friend back once the deed is done. You have till tonight to complete your task. Now go!
Come on, guys. Ow. There's junk in this trunk. You're good, Tony. Go home. I got this. Things just keep getting worse and worse. Can I just establish here that this guy wants you to fuck his wife, but right before that he sniffed some tuna and said, smells familiar? What the fuck smells familiar? I think he's talking about his wife's pussy, and you definitely don't want to make love to that sweetly. I'd rather sleep with the fishes than sleep with his wife. Let's just go have some beer and figure this out. What are you gonna do, Murray? Are you gonna bang that fishy fucker's wife or what? Obviously not. You are. Me? Yeah. You're the one who borrowed his money, and I'm pretty sure he said he's gonna kill you if you don't do what he said. Weren't you there when he said he was gonna kill all of us? We're gonna sleep with fishes. Oh, great! So now we're all fucked, eh? Thanks, Murray. Man, why couldn't you be on welfare your whole life like a normal person and have the government pay your bills, and then we wouldn't be in this mess together? You remember earlier when you said to me, you're my best friend? Well, guess what, best friend? You're taking one for the team. Oh, no, no, no. I've been ragged on enough today. Because the last thing I need is some tuna woman rubbing up all over me. And by the way, this was fucking Liam's idea, right? Let's get him to bang her. Liam's in a goddamn trunk somewhere. Oh, fuck! I'll do rock, paper, scissors with you. Loser can bang her. All right. All right. Fuck! Best two out of three. All right. Fuck! One more! I got you this time, Murray! Fuck! Man, if I had a quarter for every time my dick bailed you out of something, well, I could buy a new dick! If it was two out of three, I won the first two fucking times. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about that. Well, this is the place, 118 Muff Mountain Road. Muff Mountain Road? Who names these fucking things? Listen, Murray, this does not sound like a road that I want to be traveling down. <laughs> well, you better get ready because it's going to be a long ride for you. Yeah, well, just hold on, okay? i got to prepare myself mentally for this shit. Yeah, me too. How fucking long are we going to sit in this driveway? You could have banged her a half a dozen times by now. Yeah, easy for you to say. It's not your dick in this game of Russian roulette, bud. Oh, fuck. It's Irene. Oh, dude. Hey, listen. The truth in this case is way worse than any lie, okay? So I would suggest that you lie. Hello, Irene. Uh, Murray? Where the fuck are you? You've been gone all fucking day. Uh... Just dropping off something for Liam. <laughs> yeah, my dick. Oh, hey man, I'm gonna need this fucking thing. What's up? Dropping something off for Liam. Well, I'm going over to Leslie's. She's gonna show me her beaver. Her beaver? Uh, yeah, she does taxidermy. She also says she collects things like a camel's toe. Did I ever? What the fuck? Anyway, uh, I gotta go, something's come up. Whatever, I'll see you later. All right, love you, bye. Bye. <sighs> Leslie, huh? You know she's a pink envelope licker, right? Yeah, I do. Irene doesn't. As long as you know. Well, it's time to do battle. Yeah. Have fun. Oh yeah, easy for you to say. You're gonna sit out here and meet your fucking baloney. I know what I'm doing, all right? It's fucking salami.
I can't fucking do it, Murray. There's no way I can do it. She's huge. It's like Mount fucking Tuna in there. And the hair. Ugh. She's got a mustache, Murray. Fuck, I think she's got two mustaches. I don't care if she has four mustaches. I won rock, paper, scissors. Fair and square. are amazing, huh? Did you know? A female fish lays thousands of eggs in a hole. And they're all fertilized by one male fish. Wait, so that means like the male fish probably feels like he's fucking a whole bunch of different chicks. It's kind of manly, isn't it? Pay attention! Fish are smart. I'm gonna create the world's first human-fish hybrid. It's gonna change the world. And you're gonna fertilize the eggs. Fuck! Put this lotion on. It puts the poisson on its skin. You better start rubbing. You gotta get stinky before we get kinky. <laughs> oh, 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 this fish oil smells awful. Oh. <laughs> Liam. Oh, hey, Dad. Look, I'm kind of tied up right now. No, I didn't get your smokes yet, but I will get... Fine, hang up on me. Fine. I will try my heavenly father. Uh, Lord, you don't know me. But, uh, I'm Liam. I don't know how this goes, but, uh, a little help? Thou shalt not wear a condom because it takes away all thine feelings. That's a new commandment I'm working on. Yeah, that's a good one. Talk about a second coming, eh? You want your pipes cleaned? You don't call a plumber. You call a carpenter. Here, here. You might grab the wrong stick. That's a little sensitive now. I mean, I am hung like this. And sorry about all that horn stuff in the Bible. Like, that's Dad's revision. When I write my new New Testament, I'm gonna leave most of it out, or at least make horn sound good. Let's talk about dollars. Dollars. You know, the carpentry business ain't so good right now, so how about I, uh, an exchange, huh? How about... Oh my god, I can see. Yeah, You're yeah. disgusting. Take it back. Take my sight away now. Fine. Ah. I know. Be that way. Jesus! I've had enough of your shenanigans. Dad, this is my private time. My door was closed. I've been watching you. That's you, gross. You didn't even warn Murray about Clarky. I warned him about the raccoons, didn't I? And Irene losing at bingo. Get your shit together and put that whore out of my house. Liam needs you. He's actually praying. Well, fine. I'll go. <sighs> yeah. Again, sorry about Dad and the calling you, you a whore thing. I mean, I know you prefer the term lady of the evening or escort. But, I mean, it's not just whores he hates. It's women in general. Really, he's a... Real misogynist. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go now. Um, you can stay or leave, really. You've got your stick. It's your choice. Uh, see ya.
Bueno. Zai. Jesus. Prayer works? Not normally, but um I had nothing else to do. Um so you need me or something? Hey, you could use a little help, yeah. Oh, you're tied up. That's what you meant when you were talking to your dad. You see, I hear and see everything. Ah, that's that's neat. Unfortunately. Uh, boom. It gets uncomfortable sometimes, Liam. Um, but I am going to let you free because I need something from you. Well, sure. You're one of my favorite customers. Yeah. Remember, don't tell Murray about any of this, because I think he'll want me to help him. Yeah, he's... he's... Yeah, so... well, that was simple enough. Yeah. The power of the Lord. Oh. So, now, um... You loosened my ropes, too. Look at that. Yeah, you see, it's all... It's the power of Jesus. That's cool. Yeah, now, about the, um... Stuff. His luck would have it. He didn't take anything. So here's uh, my dad's mug shots. Thanks. Thanks. I hope these don't give me the shits. I make no guarantees. All right. Well, like I said, don't tell Murray. Uh, thanks. Murray. Oh, oh my Murray. God! What happened, Murray? Never talk about this. Ever. You're bleeding. Alright. It's not my blood. Okay, it's been a rough day, Murray. Just get me home. I gotta, I gotta change my clothes. She chewed these ones up. Get me home. Nobody loves me. Nobody. Except you. You never let me down, do you? Didn't he? 